Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the North American Star League Sunday Night Broadcast. I'm your host, Clutch, and as you can see, some of our casters are super tired over the amazing week we have had with Team Fruit. <laughs> Chance is out. There's Mr. Bitter and Frodan. Well, to start off tonight, we wanted to have a roundtable discussion about esports. And what better guests to have than Root, who have been here for the weekend. To my right, it is Katz, the El Capitan of Team Root. And also TT1, the Canadian Stallion. And Vibe will be joining us on the other desk. First off, gentlemen, I wanted to bring up the history of teams, or your personal history with teams. We'll start with you, Katz. You've been a member of different teams. What have you learned over your years of being on esports teams, and how has that helped you be a team manager for Root? Um, I don't know, man. Being on teams, obviously, uh, as as a as a as a manager, I suppose you get a set of skills and, and different ideas on how different people run different teams. Uh, I learned a lot uh, complexity from Jason Lake and Jason Bass, for example. Um, that has helped me a lot in, in the way that I run Root myself and in the way that I have uh, goals for the team as, and such. And uh, it's also useful because, uh, you know, you get to meet people that are, are potentially going to be helpful in the future, like, um, you know, Jason Bass, Jason Lake from Complexity. Um, if, if I need anything, they, they, they told me to ask, and I'm not shy to ask whenever I don't know something that they might. Well, being a, a manager of your own team now, do you feel that the kind of schedule you can set or representation you can set for yourself and for your teammates is easier, is a little bit more difficult since it's you pioneering this compared to other teams that maybe have more access to different sponsors or have a longer history compared to Root? Or what are some challenges of you being a team manager now? Um, I think in terms of dealing with the players, if, if that's the angle we're uh, taking here, mm -hmm. it's um, in terms of dealing with the players, I think it's easier for... Uh, root as an organization than perhaps any other organization to deal with players because we're also you know Drew and I are also professional gamers uh, we understand how the game works and and how much how tiring it can be or, or how um, how uh, stressing it can be at some points and and in that way I think I think we're better equipped to deal with our players we're because also you've had friends. that experience of being a pro player um, you know a little right. bit better what what it's like being one right I right. still am. <laughs> Jeez. Well, TT1, your thoughts? What's it been like being on route? Well, for someone like me who um, I've had problems motivating, my, motivating myself to practice, so it's very helpful to be around uh, a lot of friends. It's, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's very motivating for me to be around my friends. It's much more easier to practice. So, you know, we can have practice sessions and we hop on Skype, we talk with each other. So it's, uh, it's much more fun. And for someone like me who, like I said, I was on a Fnatic, I was on MTW, and, uh, and it was hard for me to practice. It was hard for me to get motivated to play the game. Um, not saying that I'm where I want to be right now, but I feel like I'm, uh, I'm heading towards that direction. Do you feel your teammates in route are a little bit more sociable? You're more friends, if you will, so you can practice better with them? It's not as rigorous compared to other teams? Well, when I was on Fnatic, uh, it's not to say that I'm not very, because on Fnatic I had Gritor, Kawhi, Rice, they're also very close mm -hmm. friends of mine, but we didn't practice as much, uh, but like say on Root, I have um, the practice partners that I have, the team that we have are also my practice partners, so like Slush, uh, Cats, Vibe, all these players are very really top, um, top uh, NA players, so I can practice them much easier. And like uh, before that, I was on MTW, not to say like Dimaga. Me and Dimaga are very close friends. But he's a European, I'm from uh, North America, so it's much harder for me to practice with him, schedule-wise, uh, lat latency-wise, and stuff like that. So I feel like um, because I'm on route, because I'm close friends with everyone, and you know, we can, we're e it's easy to, uh, to uh, access each other, it's much easier for me to practice with everyone. Vibe, your thoughts? Um, uh, yeah, I, um, as f my time on Root so far has been really nice. I haven't really had too many uh, bad experiences with teams as of yet. I've had a couple, but overall I've liked all my experiences with my team so far. But I will say, I will, I'll say every experience I've had has been better than the last, and that still holds true for Root. I think I, right now Root is my all-time favorite team I've been on so far. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy to be a part of Root, and I really hope the organization itself just grows and grows because I want to stay here for a while. 
Forever. <laughs> Forever and ever. Forever and ever. Well, Katz, what are the goals of Root as an organization? What is the vision of Root? You heard the man, man. You heard the boy. Forever. The boy. <laughs> Root forever. Root forever. Um, yeah, our goal is to stick around for, for a long while. Um, stay around in esports, perhaps grow eventually to other games. We don't really want to rush into anything until we're, you know, like StarCraft is our main concern right now. Um, Dota being our secondary concern, but like until we're settled and, and all of that stuff, uh, we're not gonna expand. Uh, obviously, we're in a low budget right now, but we are um, always working on getting new sponsors, uh, producing more content, and uh, growing as an organization. So uh, I think that's that's going quite well. I think uh, soon enough we'll be able to to uh, have a couple more sponsors, and with that support, our players are a little bit better, and uh, grow in terms of you know ex expanding in other areas as well. So. Um, that's that's the plan. I, I guess one step at a time, um, with with a long term goal of sticking around and being the best. Now you currently live in Peru, TT1. You live in Montreal, Canada. Yeah. Um, Vibe. You live in Colorado, United States. Do you feel that physically being close together or having a team house would have a lot of advantages for you and your team, or is that not a major focus right now? Uh, team house. Mm -hmm. uh, we've talked about it. Uh, if we do a team house, we're gonna do it in Peru. We haven't really gonna. Uh, we haven't really talked to a lot of players about it. Um, the reason we like Peru is it's it's pretty uh, cheap as far as uh, food and stuff like that goes, and uh, and we can have mates. I always bring that up, but it's 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 really great as a as a player to not have to worry about cleaning or or. It's or great for anybody. Or yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know. It's it's just really nice and, and it feels really good. Um, so that's one of one of the things that we want the rest of. The of the team to experience and uh, um, disadvantages being that flying out of Peru is a lot more expensive yeah. and the internet's a little bit more expensive as well. So Peru, Peru is the main goal. If we if we do a team house, perhaps not for the next six months or so, and if not, we might just uh, try it out in the U.S. TT1, could you live with cats? I've actually had a lot of experiences in team houses. I was in uh, well, I spent one month in Korea. With uh, during the GSL World, Champ World Championship with Imaga Waira, that was really fun. I feel like it's much more easy to practice when you're around players. You can, you know, it's m you wake up every day, you see everyone's practicing, so it's very motivating to practice, and you can uh, talk with players. So for someone like me, which is uh, which I easily get the mood demotivated, I think having a team house is very good. But uh, then you have the the part where like uh, you don't have a lot of privacy, the house gets messy. It's hard not to... Not with a maid, it doesn't. <laughs> not with a maid. But yeah, maids are expensive. In Korea, they're very cheap. That's why there's a lot of pro teams. And, you know, they have maids that cook, clean. But then, yeah, for example, like, I went to Katz and Juby's house. And it's very hard because we have to, like, get our own food. We have to clean up after each other. So that experience, like, it's very hard for me for... Uh, if it was, like, in that type of a team house, it's very hard for me to, like, progress, I feel like. But if everything is accessible to me i feel like uh, it's it would be very um it would be a good environment to practice in for sure vi would you ever want to leave the united states to live in a team house in peru or another country uh, i'd consider it but it would uh i guess it'd be something i'd really have to consider with all like the factors and stuff because i actually like where i live right now i don't really want to move away from colorado at the moment and uh I don't know. Like I, I, uh, I really love gaming, but I also don't want to uproot the rest of my life at the same time as well, just to go live in a team house. But uh, if I, I would say if I had to live in a team house with anybody, it would be root. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> I like this guy. I really like. Uh, <laughs> I really enjoy hanging out with all the the people on root. Uh, my mic's falling out here. I really enjoy hanging out with all the people that uh, that are on root at events and stuff. And you can tell that that everyone feels that way too, because root's actually the only team I've been on that has a ongoing Skype chat every day, all day. It's never ending. We like spam a lot. <laughs> yeah, you, you'll like seriously leave for an hour, <laughs> come back, there's a thousand new messages. Like everyone's really uh, communicative and en route and it's just a really good, good environment, I would say. Yeah, well, we could tell just by having you guys here for the last couple of days that you definitely have a lot of fun together. You guys mesh very well and you do take StarCraft very seriously, but at the same time you're enjoying you know, each other's company and that's yeah. very important for a team. Yeah. Well, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We come back, we're going to talk about the WCS. Don't go away, guys. The Sunday Night Roundtable will return in just a second.